Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to download, install, and use uh, Spitfire Audio Labs in FL Studio. So Labs is a completely free plugin that comes with a lot of really cool sounds like strings, pianos, a lot of different instruments. Uh, there is a subscription version of it as well to get a lot more sounds and instruments, uh, but I'm just going to be going over how to do it for free in this video, which is pretty awesome. So first thing you need to do is go to labs.spitfireaudio.com. I'll put that link in the description for you. And once you get to this website here, you're just going to hit start free trial. And you can do the monthly subscription if you want to unlock more sounds, but we're just going to go with the free version. So you're just going to want to hit continue without subscribing at the bottom here. So click on that. And you will have to either sign in or create a new account. I already have an account, so I'm just going to sign in. All right, so once you're signed in or create your new account, you're going to have to download their app. So I'm going to do labs for Windows since I'm using Windows. So I'll click on that button right there and it will download for me. Once that's downloaded, you're going to see Labs Installer. Click on that. Hit Yes. And then we get to the Setup Wizard here. I'm going to hit Next. Accept the Agreement. Next. It'll list the requirements here. I'll hit Next. And we're going to leave all of these selected. Hit Next. And you'll want to pay attention to these folders here because this is where it's everything's going to be installed to. And you will need to know that for FL Studio because if your file paths in FL Studio are not matching these, it's not going to be able to find the plugin. So just be aware of what where you're installing the plugin to. So mine all look good. I'm going to hit next and hit next again and then install. And then that will install all the necessary files. And I'm going to hit finish. So this is the standalone app that Labs has. This is works outside of FL Studio. So you can actually um, use, use this outside of any, you don't need a DAW to use this at all. And you can edit the sounds here. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to do an FL Studio, but if you wanted to just use this app, you could. And to get packs here, you can see I have one free pack already. To add packs to this, you would just click get more packs, and then you can go through any of the ones with Labs Plus require the subscri subscription. But um, you can see I have this free one downloaded. There's a couple more free ones here that you can get. So this is just the standalone app. Uh, however, I'm going to be showing you FL Studio, so I'm going to close out of that. So it's downloaded and installed. Now we're going to move over to FL Studio. All right, I got a new project open here, and I'm going to go over to Add. We're going to go to Manage Plugins, and this is where you'll need to have that file path uh, selected here. Plugin Search Paths. You can see I have my program files selected here that's where all of my plugins get installed to so that should be good to go and i'm just going to hit find installed plugins up here and you can see it's scanning down here and there's labs right there you can see it just showed up all right so it was able to find that and labs again it's just VST versus VST3. All right. So we got labs installed and FL Studio was able to find it. So we can close out of that. Now, if I want to use that plugin, I'm going to go to add again. And you can see synth. It's under Synth Labs right there, or under Instrument Synth Labs right here. If I click on that, it's going to load the plugin. 
and it will have you sign in again. Um, once you sign in, it'll bring you to this screen and you can see it's just exactly the same as the standalone app that we downloaded before. It's just in FL Studio now, so now you get the benefits of being able to use uh, the piano roll in FL Studio. You can see that's working. So you can see I have the same free plugin here as the standalone app. If I wanted to get another free one, I could just go to get more packs and download any of these that I want. You would just hit download. And then once that downloads, it would show up here under my packs. So I can choose any one of these. And this has its own piano roll, but we would want to use the FL Studio piano roll since we are using FL Studio. So that would work. Just like that. And if I wanted to get it into the mixer here, I would just right click, make sure that we have labs selected in the channel rack, come over here to the mixer, right click, channel routing, route selected channels to this track. And now you can see it's coming through our mixer where you can adjust it, adjust the levels, you can add a whole bunch of other plugins to it if you want further put some more effects on the sound so that is how you fully install and integrate labs into fl studio pretty straightforward but i just wanted to do a good tutorial for you guys and if you have any questions or run into any issues about this just let me know in the comments also please like and subscribe it really helps a lot it really helps the channel out um and I will see you in the next video.